action. In 1998, when I was taking my cardiology boards, uh, I came across an article about nitric oxide. And researching it at that time, studying for the boards, I found that the main ingredient or the substrate that makes nitric oxide is arginex or arginine. So over the last five years, what we have done, we have formulated a product called Arginex. And what is Arginex? Arginex is a mixture of nutrients as well as a compound called L-arginine. L-arginine in our body gets converted into nitric oxide. And what is nitric oxide? Nitric oxide is the one active chemical in our body that dilates, that opens up arteries. And that is how nitroglycerin works. Nitroglycerin, when you take a sublingual nitroglycerin, converts into the body by a series of reaction, chemical reaction, to nitric oxide. But that is a short-acting chemical that goes away very quickly. So how do we keep a constant supply of nitric oxide? And that is by supplementing with allogeny. So when I started treating my patients with l arginine in the 1990s, I found that some of them did really well. The chest pain improved. But we did not have the proper dosing for these patients. So over the last five years, by working with patients and working with companies and working with manufacturers, we have come up, we put together a formula. And in the formula, we believe we have the right ingredients. We believe we have the right amount and we believe we have the right composition of other nutritional supplements to provide the best nitric oxide compound that we can provide for our patients. And in the process, when we made our Arginex complexer, we also decided that simply saying it is the best, it is not enough. We also had to put to clinical trial, and that is what we did. We took the sickest of patients, the patients who had congestive heart failure, the patients that had already been maximized on medical management. That means there was nowhere else to go. That is it. That was all we can, modern science can provide for them. We have already done so. Is there something else we can give? And that's when nutritional supplement was the last hurrah for these patients. And what we did was we gave them our dosing, one to two to three to four scoops a day of measured amounts. And we measured what they can do in terms of physical activity. And to our surprise, well, really not to our surprise, they were able to exercise longer. The endurance went up. So we had to measure a way of measuring how much can they do, and it's called a six-minute walk test. And those patients, before taking Arginex and after taking Arginex, improved the exercise ability, exercise capacity by almost 30%, which is unheard of. Similarly, we looked at patients who are diabetics to see how their circulation improved in their legs. As we all know, diabetic patients have terrible circulation to their legs and they have symptoms in terms of claudication, that is pain with ambulation. And to our surprise, well, really not to our surprise, their symptoms got better. They were able to walk longer before they became symptomatic. And then we took it even one step further. Diabetic patients get wounds that are non-healing in the leg. And we have already maximized antibiotics. We have already revascularized. I mean, we did angioplasty to open up the arteries to their leg. Yet, it took a long time for them to heal their wound. We gave them Arginex, followed them for six to 12 week period, and their wounds healed. Patients who had severe peripheral neuropathy, their symptoms got better. Patients who had shortness of breath because of congestive heart failure symptoms that have been maximized on medical management, their symptoms got better. They are measured parameters. We have chemicals, we have blood tests that we can measure, such as BNP. Their numbers got better. We actually measured through cardiac catheterization to see whether their pressures in their heart would improve. It got better. 
So this is not just giving something and saying, you know, I have a testimonial of 10 patients and they all felt better. No, these are patients who got better symptomatically. They improved, their quality of life improved, but their objective laboratory parameters also improved. That has never been published before. We have so. Not only that, we also did patients who have pulmonary hypertension. That is patients who have very high pressures in their lung. And we have already maximized on the arm medical management. We measure the pressures in your lung pre and post giving them Arginex, L-Arginine product. And what they found, their lung pressures improved. Their oxygenation in the blood improved. So these are objective measures that we did, studies that we did on our patients, the sickest of sick patients, that actually subjectively and objectively got better.